Hey everybody, Anne here, and uh, oh, you get to see some of my tattoos. Yeah, they've kind of changed over the years. <laughs> yup, uh, I've got I've got them all over the place. Um, I've got two almost half sleeves. Anyhow, what today's video is going to be about is where I park. And somebody asked me in the comment section, where do you park? And I think that's a common question. And everybody's comfort level is going to be different. Um, my comfort level is staying at establishments that are open for 24 hours, like Walmart, Myers, um, truck stops. I stayed at a truck stop uh, just a couple nights ago, and it was great. Um, it was actually a Speedway, open 24 hours. It caters to truckers. It has the big lanes for the diesel trucks to come in and refuel, and it's got some spots specifically for them, and it also has spots for um, people like me. Um, so what I will do is I will call ahead, you know, whatever city I'm going to be working in, if it's a Walmart or Myers, whatever it is, um, I will call and ask, you know, I, I, I ask for a manager and I say, um, I am a, I am a such and such, tell them what my profession is, I live and work out of my van and I'm going to be working in the area on such and such a date and I just wanted to know if it was okay, you know, and I just need a, a safe place to park overnight. Um, and I need to know if it's okay if I do that at your store. And 99.9% .9 of the time, they will say, yes, it's perfectly okay. Um, and if they need to, I, I offer to give them my license plate number. I describe the van. Um, I tell them what my name is. Um, so none of that bothers me. I want them to know who's in the van. So they don't need to knock. So they, they will already know who's out there. Um, and so I've had a lot of luck with that. I've only had one place that you know, that I called and they said, sure, no problem, you can park here, um, where I think it was actually a rent-a-cop. I don't think it was a really a real police officer. Um, I think, like I said in the other video, that they just wanted to see who the weirdo was in the van. Knock, knock, knock at 1.30 in the morning. But, um, and I, I don't think I really got back to sleep after that. Uh, but all other places have been great. Um, I try not to stay in the same place more than once a week. And I now have it planned out to where um, I know where I'm going to be each day. And so I can park in a different... I've, I've found enough places to say, yes, it's okay for you to park here overnight, that I can park in a different place. Seven, I have seven different places places right now seven so um, and that's not counting the weekend I mean even the weekends I could have those covered in different places if I didn't want to like this place right here um, ten bucks a night and you can you have primitive camping and that's just fine um, so that's what I do and that's my comfort zone um, I think eventually I'm gonna try and branch out maybe try some apartment complexes maybe um, hospitals and some different kinds of I, I know that Maddie Van Halen parks in Kroger's a lot um, we don't have any 24 hour Kroger's around here so I'm not sure how well that would go over um, I'm in Ohio so it's a little bit different here in Ohio you know I think that it is down south um, I think there's a little bit more crime up in the areas where I'm at so um, I think that that's a big reason why people get you know a no maybe sometimes you can't park here because let me tell you something. I have seen with my own eyes van dwellers leave their crap. They don't even bother to, you know, bag it up and put it. Well, sometimes they'll bag it up, but they'll just leave it out their door and, and drive off and not even make any effort to put it in the trash. Um, I've seen RVers do it. There was a Walmart that I went to where an RV had pulled up. And I know I know who it was because I have seen the same RV. They they go to two WalMarts basically, and um, well, I saw the cops out talking to them at one at one point, and they will stay there for two weeks, nestled in between the trucks and whatnot. Um, so they had taken there were 16 bags in all. Me and um, I had just kind of pulled up because I was going into the Walmart. I wasn't staying there overnight, and there was an employee out there picking up their garbage. It was 16 bags plus a big plastic tub that the lid had a hole in it like they were using it for a toilet and they had that all stuffed with crap and there were like people's children's names on it and stuff um, and it was just it was just terrible. I mean it, it was terrible because when people do that they look at people like me you know a van dweller bad. I don't want them to look at me just because Betty settle down. Stop she's gonna she just 
she just likes to bark. Anyhow, um, so yeah, they just leave their crap. They just leave it there, and they can't. Walmart has a gazillion trash cans. Pick your stuff up and put it in the garbage can. I don't see how RVers. Um, it's it's. Uh, I've seen the RVers do it, and I've seen one van dweller do it. They just leave their shit there. Sorry. Sorry, I, I, I should bleep that out if I can. They just leave their stuff there and um, drive away as if, as if that's cool. It is not cool. It is totally nasty. So, um, you know, I had actually filmed that 16 bag dump, um, but there were names on it. And I don't want to shame the people. What I do want them to do, if they ever see this video or another video like it, I'm hoping that they will kind of listen and think that oh you know that's not cool i mean seriously guys that's that's like van van dwelling rv dwelling day one stuff you don't leave your crap out on the road oh, anyhow so that's where i park and i leave it cleaner than when i got there and um so far it's been really not too bad at all not bad at all you will probably have some experiences where people pull up and, you know, a cop pulls up and, you know, wants to know who you are. Or, you know, you've got the, the neighborhood kids who, you know, love to just, you know, do donuts in the parking lot. There was, there was a kid that did that and he was in a, um, I don't know, I don't know what kind of vehicle it was. It was dark, but he was trying to do an exhibition and he didn't pull it off very well. But, you know, I mean, it was like, I give him a B plus for effort. Um, doing donuts in the Walmart parking lot. Dude, you should, you know, do it in the middle of an intersection where it's cool, not in a Walmart. Anyhow, um, that's, that's where I park. That's where I park and um, pick your stuff up, van lifers, RV lifers. Don't leave your trash because you make the rest of us normal people, well, as normal as, you know, somebody like me can be, look bad. Um, anyway, oh my God, I see a big fish just jumped out there in the lake, so I'm going to go get that. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoy the video, and y'all have a good day. Oh my god, my hair is so short. I look like a boy, and I need makeup. <laughs>